Check, 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 one, two. It is Monday, January 22nd, 2024. It's my first day back after being out sick. Whole house got sick, actually. Uh, it's that time of year, but anyways, feeling better, finally. And uh, in front of the machine, and we're at all-time highs. Um, AMD appears to be the market leader now. It's no longer Tesla. And let's see, we got some PayPal and... Oh, did I lose Archer Daniels? ADM. Yeah, ADM. Uh, also, this thing's down like 17% on some executive news. But let's go ahead and set 55.40 uh, pre-market low. Okay, check, 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 one, two. It is 11.40, and I just got filled. Uh, looks like a partial fill, actually. Only three out of the four lots on this Apple which I've been bidding for for quite a while now. Um, let me close this out. And I might get it right here. Where was I at? 27 cents? So I still have a, a, a part of my order at 27 cents I'm waiting to get filled on. I did just get it there, so I do have the full clip now. Long Apple here at uh, 27 cent average, and we are looking for a move back up to highs, or at least to 94. So... We'll see what that looks like. The risk is very tight. This is not a scalp. I do want to see if it can get back up to 94, or at least, nine, yeah, to 94, um, and maybe even further. So I'll, uh, I'm going to take these off up here, and then I'm going to let the last one run if we can. But I'm not going to sit and watch this. I'm going to just let this go and try to catch that move back up to where these wicks tested. I think that is a pretty high probability uh, chance. AMD I'm also bidding on. This is my first trade of the day, by the way. I, AMD, I, I tried to trade AMD and Apple all morning long, uh, and I could not get filled. I just could not get filled. Um, the fills were not happening. And AMD I'm bidding for down here. I think it's done selling off for the short time being. Uh, I think actually I'm going to just cancel the AMD so that I can focus on the Apple. So let's see if Apple can get up and into 94 again. And we'll go and pause and see how this thing turns out. Will it get stopped out or will it... Uh, or will it make it up there to 94 or just bounce around nobody knows so that's the uh that's the first target if it's very very turnaround type i mean we're at all-time highs on the es so anything can really happen really anything could happen here we are into the 60s i mean this thing is already almost almost up to my uh up to my spot there if it quickly bursts into the 70s here, I might just take it right here. Um, but, wow, wow, I'm surprised how quick this thing got up here. That's very quick up there, very quick. If it gets into the high 70s, I might take it up, the part of it off up there. I'm going to cover risk here. I took two off right there. So I'm going to cover risk, and I am going to change 192.99. Um, I'm going to change this. 99 cents. And let's see if we can pop up here and get the rest. So with that, I'll go on pause. What did I get on that? 61 cents. It, it did go up and kiss 70, but uh, now it's gone all the way back down. So at least if it does stop me out on the remaining half, it'll pretty much be a scratch as it is coming all the way back down to my entry and the yes is coming in. But I'm going to leave this. Again, I don't have a buy order in AMD, but 
Um, anymore, I canceled that. Here is Apple all the way back down, but I'm going to just let it bounce around here, and I, I think I can make it up to 194. So I'll go and pause and see what turns out. Okay, check, check. It is 11.57. Uh, we had a small pullback after I took that lot off uh, down below my entry, actually, and now we are starting to move back up. So what I want to see now is uh, to go and grab that first spot. I'm up at 89 cents, so just a few pennies, um, 10 cents above this level here, and then I am going to leave a runner on that I will track via trend line. So basically if we start breaching this trend line <clears throat> then we will start taking some of the position off. Actually, no. Let me restate that. If we get up above here and start making higher highs then I will draw the trend line. <laughs> But until that, we're still kind of in this chop zone. So I'd... let's see if we can get up there and take that. I'm gonna go down to 87. And also another interesting thing, um, somebody in a previous video, I don't remember which one now, had talked about my order types or my, my venue uh, choices for which venue I execute on and that's why I wasn't getting filled on some of my limit orders and I tried playing around with that I did look into some of the details and I did talk to Lightspeed about different route options and looked under the finer print if you will to see how different things execute I did try the smart route that was suggested in the YouTube comment down here and despite that this still did not get a full fill despite it sending to every um, every exchange uh, or trying to fill on every exchange at that price it still gave me a partial so I'm not sure that there's quite an edge there and there are quite a few significant drawbacks about setting that as my default um, as my default uh, order venue type so and this thing is struggling up here 74 75 76 79 80 I'm gonna take that one right there and then I'm gonna cancel this one so I got I took the uh, the second one off here's 82s um, I now have one one fourth of my position left and that I'm gonna trail let's try to get up and going and see what we can get do I have a high day 96 that's not what I want I want to know when we're up into the approaching the whole number <clears throat> Lots of size coming out over here, but yeah, what if this thing gets down? Back below the 40s or 30s, then I'm probably going to just bomb out or bomb out at break even, although I don't really see a reason to give it all the way back. But I don't know, this runner has a chance to go. It's really midday. It might be too early still. This might still chop around. This just is not not a good time for to expect a runner to continue back up to new highs. But we are at all-time highs. Weird things can happen. Look at that AMD just nicely pop off there. I was trying to get it down here. Just never came back in. Never came back in. Uh, story of this morning, I just never could get filled on anything. So it looks like today, at least, you have to be on the aggressive side of these curves, of these volume profiles, not on the conservative side. I've been placing conservative orders all morning long, and the only one I got filled on was Apple eventually. I mean, I missed Apple all the way up here. I was trying to get it long, long, long. I tried three separate times, I believe, and I could not get the long on. So uh, finally got it at... 11 almost noon 
in, in, much into midday, and that was after this heavy retracement. But I don't think with this time of day that we are likely to power up and through here. So um, that's just my take on it. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, I'll move this sale stop up to 43 cents. And then I will go back on pause. Hopefully this thing can come and kiss uh, 94 and then continue higher, but I'm not expecting it to. So <clears throat> just managing the risk at this point on the runner and see what happens. I think if the time of day were later and it was three something, um, if it was three hours later, I th think I would probably try to hold even more size uh, for a potential return to highs. But given the time of day, that's just, I don't think that's really in the cards right now. This Archer Daniels Midland, I mean, I was watching this thing in pre-market, and they're just they're just sitting on it. They're just sitting on it and bleeding it off. So very, very tough because there's no retracements, and you don't know how nastily it could snap back. So you got to be really careful. Um, but yeah, just sitting on it. Day one, bad news. Executive did something bad, I think. Um, and uh, yeah, what was the original? CFO placed on administrative leave due to ongoing investigation regarding some kind of accounting practice. Yeah, he did he did something he wasn't supposed to do. We've got Dwack doing its uh, repeating repeating the performance it had back in 2020. Was it? It did a similar exercise and started ripping uh, higher, but I'm not going to play that. Look at the spread on this, 40 cents. My goodness. Uh, let's put this back on AMD. Let's go back to Apple, and I'm going to go back to work, go on pause, and hopefully next time we'll be checking in above 94. Check, check. That did not take long. Stopped out of Apple up there. Let me just cancel my orders. Um, not going to keep the runner for right now. going to take out this trend line. I think we're still in a chop zone. I think it's just the wrong time of day, like I was saying earlier. Uh, would not be surprised if this goes and checks below 93 one more time before it can uh, attempt to go up. Actually, the whole market is just really severely coming in right now. I'm not sure what happened. And yeah, Apple just failing now. We were just up in the 70s. So, not sure what that is, but I am out of the Apple trade. Not, uh, not particularly beautiful or sexy, but it'll do for today. Um, waited for my spot and, and uh, oh wow, Apple. Yeah. That was the right decision to manage it there and to keep an eye on the time of day. It just didn't feel like it was the right time. Okay, that's that's the Apple trade.